Hi y'all. Alright, so first. You know I don't like to eat hot dogs. Are you going for the hot dog? Go ahead. Hi y'all. Alright, hold on. Better than 7-Eleven. I would say better than 7-Eleven. hear the copyright music it's not too bad here goes the pizza you ready here goes the pizza y'all you don't you buy the pizza i'm never gonna do it yet I would say better than 7-Eleven pizza. Hey Adam, how are you? She's meaning like Adam and Eve. Um, Adam the Woo. I guess so. Um, yeah, hey, hey Adam the Woo and all you fun people. Um, I would say almost as good as 7-Eleven. But I wouldn't say as good as like a pizzeria. You know, like, a, like a restaurant or anything, I wouldn't say it's that good. Actually, I think this pizza is better than your pizza, boys. What pizza? No. Oh, no, the pizza, boys. I don't, I don't think know. the other one's better. I don't know. Or pizza snobs. I'd say about, about like Domino's. Yeah. You think this is better than a restaurant pizza? Mm -hmm. I like it. I disagree 100 percent it does not have the flavoring this is not fresh dough it does not have the flavoring the hot dog is good i think it is i like you it. think that pizza is better than a restaurant yes, pizza yes i think it's better than pizza uh, <coughs> pizza you take me All right, bye, y'all. Too long, too long. I just Turn it off. I think restaurant pizza is better. I think on the level of Domino's, I'd say Domino's is better. Domino's, I would say better than 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven pizza is horrible. This is Sam's Pizza, pretty good. The hot dog is the best on the market. But the pizza, I would say, I'd give it a five. Of 10. What, what would you give the pizza rating? Eight and a half. The restaurant pizza starts at like seven and up. You know what I mean? On rating. And I say some are, are nine or even a 10. Anyway. All right, I did find some zero sugar Pepsi. Actually very good, zero sugar. It's a little different than diet uh, Pepsi. It's actually very tasty. I may be looking at, at zero sugar Pepsi. We're gonna go buy some of these, um, what are they called? Samples? She's eating sauerkraut. Um, you had a half a pizza and um, half a hot dog. Ella Fanning hasn't had that in like a week. I'm just joking. Really I don't know, I'm just throwing, throwing out names. All right, this is called Members Mart. Members Mart? Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I'm looking at this for the training team. These are very good. <coughs> wow, okay. So we have this, which is basically what? Nature's? Yeah, Nature's Valley? Nature's Valley. It's new. Uh-huh. Oh, this. Mm. Is it approved by Seinfeld? And you're getting uh, chips everywhere. He's an expert on cereal bars. <laughs> All right, well, he's become one. He might get an Oscar for it. Seinfeld. We're good. Talk with your mouth full. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> These are actually very good. Get on my nerves. Okay, I'll do Oh, yeah. That's the stuff. It's different after my sauerkraut. Mm -hmm. I'm more of a pickle person. I that is very stuff. good. Oh, better. Mm -hmm. 12 grams of fat. Oh, really? Two grams of protein. That's a lot of fat for one bar. 
Yeah. So one bar is what? Um, uh, 36 grams. Mm -hmm. So what is one bar? Four servings? Okay, we're dealing with bugle. All right, bugle. Oh, it's cinnamon. Okay. Going with the cinnamon. Hmm. Hold on. Hmm. It's like a cinnamon dust. Uh -huh. on, yeah, it gets on your lips. Mm -hmm. Cornflakes are good too. It tastes a lot like the cinnamon toast crunch. They're called bugles. These are chips that you would buy at the uh, like convenience store. Yeah, these are bugles. You get them on the road. So you only eat bugles on the road. This is now a cereal. I know. I used to eat the cheese ones. Cinnamon wow. toast crunch. I ate the cereal. So this That's is all why breakfast. I don't eat cereal anymore. All breakfast right here. Yeah, so Seinfeld has made a movie now about Kellogg's and Post. He became a director just out of nowhere. I'm very surprised because he, t he told everyone he's not an actor. So he's still saying he's a stand-up comedian. That is now over. He is now an actor. So we can now interview him as an actor or at least a director. You can't pretend like you're a stand-up comedian while you're in a movie. You have to officially go over to being an actor. So We know he's Paul Rudd. And there's no way out of it. Yeah. Got Nutri-Green bars, too. The whole fleeping place, man. You go over there, you just go through and sample, you get yourself a meal. We're talking sausage to steak. Listen, I used to work with Direct Energy when I came out of Canada when I did regularly. Door to door, I survived on it for a long time. I know, you're, I know what you guys do. All right, so what is the company called? Just Energy. It's called Just, just Energy? Can I just I get this as a photo? I think that's what Justin has. Okay, shh. All right, so what do y'all go by? Kilowatts? Yeah, basically. Okay, but, uh, what, what are the kilowatts? Promotion. So it's mm -hmm. 10 hours free every night, 90 cents, whatever you utilize, we actually reimburse them to you. Kind of like what TXU used to do. Yeah, kind of. Right. <laughs> so we have an all-inclusive rate, which mm -hmm. is around 28 cents. But okay. at nighttime, we reimburse you at 28 cents. What's the name of the company? Just Energy. So J-U-S-T? Yeah, Just. Okay. So basically, he was supposed to pay 434 prior to the promotion, but with the credit back that he gets at night, he got it deducted by 370. That's how he ended up paying 73 dollars. His kid walked him out to four cents. What's the contract? We don't have a contract since we don't charge you the deposit. Are you month a month? It's a month a month. You have a purchase. Guys, if you're going to Sam's, Just Energy will close you inside Sam's. Bring your utility bill. You don't have to have the utility bill, but bring it anyway so you can compare the kilowatts. He'll close you, no deposit. But you gotta do it inside Sam's. If you do that, his name's Ruben. He's a good guy, he's right over there. Uh, I got his uh, badge stuff and everything, so I know you can scan his badge, it'll go to the department with an address, okay? And you can call the, the company. They're called Just Energy. Oh, I know, I know. Did you try out that strawberry cookie up over there? Oh, I'll bear? have to go back and get that cookie. Here's my other half. Oh, oh wow. why is broccoli cauliflower? Okay. I need greens. Lots of greens. Okay. I thought it was pretty good. Kind of crunchy. Yeah, that was too much sweets in there. Yeah, it's straight up broccoli. No, it's broccoli, cauliflower, mm -hmm. and cheese. It's a okay. sauteed kit for 236 The yeah. produce area. Okay, a little I bit like more. it. Do you want to buy some? That's not too bad. Yeah, I got a lot. Okay. Okay, anyway, she's, she's eating actually broccoli. This is like, amazing. To be that, we need to eat the broccoli, huh? This is a line from a play I was in called North Pole Nightmare. <laughs> hey, look. That lady over there has broccoli in her teeth. There you go. But it was actually, that guy over there has broccoli in her teeth. I got in trouble because I changed it to, hey, that guy has popcorn in his teeth. You're they served popcorn. It was a matinee ch children's show for, for uh, Christmas time. Yeah, it was true. I, I changed the line and they called me in the office, circled around me Shit. like Nazis. And, uh, oh, they weren't like, well, they were like, the guy had a mole on his face. He was like, did you change the line from broccoli to popcorn? And the lady was Connie Wint Lambert. She's circling around like she's in Dr. Strangelove. It's her favorite movie. And she was like, did you do this? Did y'all do it? Did y'all do a scene these? backwards? We did a whole scene backwards. What is this? Okay, I'm going to guess. Lemon cake. 
key, you made these key lime? Yeah, I see. She's been in the food industry the for 25 years? Yes. 25 yeah. years? See, the thing is when you work in a bakery, you want to make sure it's consistent. So either this is frozen or yeah. not. How you can tell us there's $12. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 16. Right. Wait, hold on. This one don't look the same. Okay, so you put whipped cream on the top? Sure. Okay. A lot of products come in frozen. Right. Somebody tells you in the bakery, right. I want a fresh pie. Got oh, it. Yeah, good luck. It's coming out of the damn freezer. Right. Defrost it, and then you have the whipped cream. Mm -hmm. They look pretty. Natural mine. This one has 16 and then Yeah, she would have ripped it up in gold and, and Greg's class for sure. I'm talking about uh, American mine. Well, it's more like European mine. They, they call Greg American, but he's actually French, to be honest. But you can call it American. American mime is actually different than what Greg teaches. A certain type of mime. I'm talking about Goldstein. Hold on. I want to ask or is it Goldstein? Goldstein, I think is how you do it. I just noticed she's very mime-like quality. Na naturally, she, it just comes to her naturally. I've only taught her a little bit. We taught her how to pick up a flower in mime, which was the Marcel Marceau thing. You use, like, counterbalance. Kind of thing like that. She just naturally does it without thinking. But she speaks too much, so, yeah. There's nothing like silence in the world. You know, that's what I always tell myself when I'm listening to my vlogs. All right, what are we doing here? Those are hard to do. Mm -hmm. I was trying to do Oreo cakes. It was hard to get it, like, grounded and stuff. Oreo cakes? Chocolate. No, no, I used to do Oreo cakes at uh, Kroger. Right. It was hard to get the Oreos. You have to have the right. Uh, it's lemon bunt. What are we dealing with here? No, I just want to see. There's 16 dots. One, two, mm -hmm. three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, wow. This is fresh fruit cheesecake. This is a, would be a good birthday present for me if I make it to 60. <laughs> 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 I don't know. Is it okay to be 60? Ooh, yeah, I mean, I could imagine being 60. I can, I understand 50. I can deal with it. 50's hard. But 60, whoa. 70, forget about it. Just give me a bowl of fruit. Caesar salad. Bowl of fruit, a good television. And maybe a good uh, Cormac McCarthy novel. I think I might get through it. My, 77 was always what I shot for when I was younger. But imagine this, though your 77th birthday yeah it's called sweet it's hard to get inside of walmart and uh, sam's club so how do you like working here so far here for uh september will be one year oh cool yeah i know the cupcakes she's talking to me uh, the, the deli no bakery sorry bakery she was bakery that's right she'd rather be the baker I always get her mixed up with a deli. Did you? I have to ask if she ever did deli. She did bakery. Okay. It's French. French ancestry. Hey, you're bakery only, no deli? No deli experience? No, not deli. You're under bakery. No. Did you do I, bakery experience? I had two years of bakery, two years of deli. But did you do bakery? Yes, I did. Tom Thumb. Day after my mom died. Okay, did deli. Any deli? Yes, two years. Oh, deli and bakery, never mind. You just mix the two and you got yourself a good breakfast. Right, this is a Bradley shot, that's what I call it. You got Harlequin and then a T-Mobile Pass. That's what I call it. All right, so come on. She did it like a Harlequin thing. All right, there you go. There's a million dollars right there. Over here. Okay, she's going for the scene. Go ahead. Four or five carrots. Look at that cross. Thank you, Jesus, for giving me life. Wow. Yeah. Pretty darn shiny. Darn pretty. Too bad I cost too much money because I love you, Jesus Christ. You died for my sins. Amen. All right, let's roll.
And also remember, pharmacy at Sam's. You got a common cold, you can try it. Also, you get some dove care. I need your help real quick. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, we got what we needed from Sam's. Good hot dog. Linda likes the pizza. I like restaurant pizza better. But go see Ruben for your electric, just electric. Ruben will sign you up inside of Sam's. Bring your utility if you want to, or bring, or just take a snapshot on your phone. Sign up with him, no deposit, super cheap. Now he looks like it's honest, like 70 bucks a month for electric. 